Sunday night at the Motor Point Arena, the Coventry Blaze in town. Sheffield have had good success against Coventry this year, despite that man Ryan Janan scoring a hat full of goals. This man was the man targeted with the, uh, well, the duty of stopping him, that was Frank Doyle. This man, Stefan Meyer, was to have one hell of a night at the Motor Point. Chris Blight was hoping his home debut was going to see a different turn of results. Well, early power play opportunities for the Sheffield Steelers. They actually had three consecutive power plays. On the second one, a breakaway. Don't worry, it was only Russ Cowley. Doyle made the save. He stayed nil-nil. Janan, though, quickly went off for hooking, and the Steelers were back on the one-man advantage again. It wasn't, however, the Steelers to convert on the power play. Instead, it was to be the Coventry Blaze who would score short-handed. Devin chips one on the boards, beats the Steelers defenceman, and instead of Cowley, it was Guthrie. One-on-one -on -one with Doyle, he shoots, he scores. 12-15, the Blaze led by a goal to nil, with Devin picking up an assist. Also to Kelsey Wilson. Nice finish though, by Shea Guthrie. The Sheffield Steelers, though, would come. And it was to be the Stefan Meyer show, and he was to get his first only a couple of minutes later. Great work from Blight. Baldwin will take the shot, and doing the dirty work out in front, Stefan Meyer gets the tip. The Steelers lead, well, the Steelers now tie at one apiece. You'll see from the camera behind the goal what a great tip this was. Keep your eye on 10 Meyer. He watches the shot, gets the tip. Zacharias is going to his left, the puck goes to his right. We're tied at one, folks, 14.53, and that's how the first period ended, one apiece. Into the second period, Guthrie for interference, you see there just behind the net. He go to the Naughty Boys room, and the Sheffield Steelers would go on the power play. Again, keep your eye on Stefan Meyer. Great work from Cone. Langley, tip, Meyer out in front. Steelers lead two to one. What great hand-eye coordination from Stefan Meyer, out in front again. Great vision from Cohn. Quick release from Langley, and that's super tip from Stefan Meyer. Steelers two, Blaze one. It wasn't all one-way traffic. Michael Henry pins one off the post. Frank Doyle, though, was outstanding, conceding just the one goal on a Sunday night. Steelers, though, went looking for more. Great play here from Lacroix. Rides the hit, makes the pass. Gertzen, inch perfect to Meyer. Straight at fit for Stefan Meyer. And he makes it 3-1. Great play, Lacroix. Great play, Gertzen. Great finish, Stefan Meyer. Nothing Zacharias can do about that. Steelers 3, Blaze 1. You can buy Sam a drink and get his dog one too. Bingo. Hat trick, where were the hats? Where were the hats? What's the matter with you? It was gonna get a little bit fruity as well, as well as goals, there were fights. Jerome Gadis, he was having a bit of a bad night to be fair. Picks on Danny Myers, I don't think he expected Danny to hit back, but Danny does. And actually, it's back a bit harder than De Gadis throws him. Fans were on the edge of the seats, they were enjoying it. Cadiz over the top, and Danny throws a couple himself, job done, good work Danny Myers, and Danny likes that song, keep singing it, more action, the blaze would go forward, intercepted Max Lacroix, bullet Zacharias doesn't see it, Lacroix unassisted, 4-1 Steelers, Intercepted the play, comes down and lets a howitzer go. 4 to 1 at 43 34. Let's see it again. Steelers 4, Blaze 1. Oh, yes, it was behind you. Told you, bad night for Gadis. Naughty boy room. He's up for hooking. Sheffield Steelers on the power play. The choir again. Orchestrated events. Interception. Slasher Wilson. Remember him from his Panthers days? He's better than slashing than he is on a one-on-one. -on -one. Steelers would come. Still on that Gadis power play. 
Keep your eye on Stefan Meyer again. He was to get goal number four for Stefan Meyer. Goal number five for the Sheffield Steelers. What a night for Stefan Meyer. Four goals. Great play out in front as well, Lacroix. Michael Hicks gives the goal. Did Lacroix get a touch on that? I think he did. And then an excellent finish again. Johnny on the spot, Stefan Meyer. Oh, even Steeler down was happy. Four goals for Stefan Meyer. It's been a while since that happened. Lacroix was to disappear on a 2 and 10 from checking from behind. Chalmers gets involved. Wait for old Slasher Wilson to get involved as well. Here he comes. He uses his fist this time. There's a first. A bit of a feeble attempt on, uh, from old Slasher there on Stefan Meyer. He's doing a bit of talking, but out of picture goes Chalmers. And Chris Blyde's got hold of him. Off comes the helmet. And these two will go bang, bang. Ooh, that must hurt. Fair play to Chalmers though, he stands up, stands in there. Blight and Chalmers will finish off. Altenak is trying to get involved. Under 12's practice is on Tuesday, Kyle. Blight goes to the penalty box, and Yasik got some ice as well. The fans rose for Yasik. It was Yasik who was going to be on the ice when the final hooter went. And all the players went to him, congratulated him. Steelers 5, Blaze 1. Who was going to be the man of the match? Have a think. As Blight shakes hands with Maddie Soderstrom. Well, Drew Fatter and Jason Newey thought it should be them. They wouldn't let Stefan Meyer go and pick his award up. Eventually, he managed to break free. And Stefan Meyer picked his award up. From Claremont Private Hospital, our man of the match sponsors. Robert enjoyed himself, the Steelers enjoyed themselves. Andy Yasak not the support. And the Steelers, 5-1 victorious. What did Doug say? Doug, the beauty of our game and the beauty of our league is that you get to play the next game very quickly. And uh, I would imagine your feelings a lot different tonight than they were 24 hours ago. Yeah, last night we were horrible. Um, you know, I think I was despondent, you were despondent. Um, you know, you looked around and you're looking for positives. You're looking for something to take out of it. And there are just so few. Um, Woke up today, though, uh, and the positive was that we played today, and uh, we needed a response. We got a response. I thought the first period, we weren't as probably as bad as I felt we were. Um, our power play obviously wasn't very good in the first, but in the second and third, it scores a couple goals. Um, but, you know, then in the second and third, uh, we are really, really good. And you know what? I think that's important for us, uh, especially going into a game on Wednesday to stop the bleeding, and uh, we did that. Just talk us through the decision on, on Le Guy. Everybody talked about it when they arrived here tonight and found out he wasn't playing. Such an iconic player here. What was, what was the reasoning in, in your mind to, uh, to sit him out before Wednesday? Well, no question. Uh, I think Jeff knows exactly how I feel about him, both as a person and as a player. Um, he leads our team in goals. Um, he's an outstanding uh, teammate. Uh, but last night was a really bad performance by our team. And you know what? Uh, we needed to do something to shake this team up. We needed to... Uh, do something that made him look around and say, geez, you know, if Jeff Leguie's not playing, um, who else uh, can go out? I can be out, there's no question. And uh, I think it's a situation for us that shakes things up. Um, I think, obviously, Jeff Leguie um, is going to be a big part of what we do the rest of the way. And we need him to be playing at his absolute best, which um, he'd probably tell you. He could probably he has a couple more goals in the tank uh, for us down the stretch. When you and I spoke last night, I said to you, you'll be looking for a response from your team tomorrow. You got that response, didn't you? We did. Um, two fights, uh, physical, abrasive, uh, going to the net. Uh, we always, All the things that we always talk about, going north, being aggressive, back check, uh, blocking shots. We did that tonight. And uh, the team was rewarded with a, with a great win and a, and a good performance. Have you ever had a night like Stefan Meyer had tonight? Maybe, maybe in summer <laughs> hockey against yeah. blind uh, old men, but other than that, uh, no, that was, was great a great night. night. Yeah, yeah. You know what? Um, he was great, but he got goals the way that he should get goals. Uh, it wasn't – he got goals by going to the net, offering his stick on the power play, um, creating space for himself. And, uh, you know, he not only did he score four, but he probably had ten shots tonight and um, might have scored a couple others. Uh, that Hicksie didn't blow the whistle a little bit early on the one. I think that one wound up actually going in. Talk to us now about how you get that reaction again in four days' time against the Nottingham Panthers because it's probably your trophy on the line, the biggest game that's been played here this season. Yeah, no question. Um, it's a playoff game. 
and um, we talk about as North Americans, uh, playoffs are what you play for, what you focus on, and um, that's what we want, obviously, uh, come Wednesday night, is for us to be having a playoff mentality um, and doing those things and doing the things that make us a good team. And I think everybody sees it. When we're good uh, and we're competing, we're battling and we're doing all the little things, we're a very good team. And when we don't do those things uh, like we did not last night, we're pretty average, uh, if not poor. And I think we'll see a very good uh, Sheffield Steeler team on Wednesday night.